me again. <laughs> ah, time is 10 to 4 in the morning. Set off about. I have dinner and bound again. Or oh, I've just had about five five days off, long weekend off. Um, been doing bits and bobs. Had a wedding to go to. Had my 30th birthday. Turned 30 yesterday. I know I don't look it, but yeah, okay. So yeah, feeling a bit fragile still, if I'm honest, from a wedding and a 30th. But uh, yeah, back to Dinton. And uh, yeah, I feel like really on the tail of that sort of, that sort of triple row. It's a really nice fish, you know, it's quite distinctive in the pool, so that I know that I'm seeing that fish a few times now. I haven't actually seen it in a catchable position, I don't think. Uh, but locating it is a massive piece of information. Um, yeah, nothing else to report really. Uh, I've got a couple more hours on the road. Should hopefully get there for about six ish. I've got to get some food and all that. But yeah, I haven't uh, tried to time it for uh, first light or anything this session because I know there's a lot of rain. It's going to be really, really rainy when I get down anyway. Uh, it's going to clear up a little bit later on, so uh, I'm not going to be in any rush to get uh, get set up or anything, I'll be mooching. But yeah, in and bound. Bye. <sighs> Down on the pond, quite a few fish showing here now, just to be laugh, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, yeah, I got down probably about an hour behind schedule, because, uh, oh, that was right on the money where I've been baiting. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, yeah, car had set on fire on the motorway, so extra hour on the journey. So it killed me a little bit. Um, but yeah, all good. Uh, he's down here now. And um, yeah, basically, I'm in a swim that I prepped last week um, to the other side. So, whoa, what's going on? See? This rain is going to cause me problems. Let me wipe this bad boy. Better? Yeah. So, yeah, prep this. This is where I've been uh, stalking. Over here, my little, uh, my little spot. Um, that one there. That's that little edge spot. And this is the bushes that they get in. Now, the front of this tree here, where that yellow bit is, it's pretty much unfishable from over there. Well, it is unfishable. You'd be, you'd never be able to get a rig into that position. Um, and no one ever goes in that swim there. There is a swim in that little gap. And that's where I've been catching them fish from in there. Down to the right there. And uh, yeah, no one ever goes in this one here. You know, because um, just because it's so tight. Um, but yeah, basically, I come down here because this is directly opposite. I'm always seeing fish in that tree there. And there's just no way of fishing to it apart from here. I'm thinking if I, well, what I did is I've been baiting in that bush since I started here, so a good sort of month of baiting, and I've been slowly working the bait towards the edge of that tree, and now it's real nice and clear, all on that marginal shelf there, and I can fish it from over here. It's not affecting anyone, obviously, if anyone was in any of them swims, I wouldn't do it, but it's not affecting anyone. Asked the bailiff if it's all right to fish across from swims. I haven't told him which one, but he said, yeah, as long as it's not affecting anyone, you can do it. I just thought it's a bit of... Um... Oh, hello. <laughs> and again, get out. Where are you? But, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's not affecting anyone. So that's where I'm uh, going to fish. I think, just because I've been prepping it, you know, I've only, it's only a one rod job over there, probably. I know it's in line straight across the pond and it's not great. Where the hell is the fish real short here? I'm literally so short there. Yeah, there's a lot of fish in this sort of zone. I'm seeing them swimming left here as well. <coughs> but yeah, that's the plan. Possibly anyway. Fishing a rod directly across there. Locked up, snag fishing almost. Lead cord up. And uh, yeah, can't get any lines, so they've got a kite. Simple as that. And I can bait it from round there. 
You actually see me go around and bait it last week, if you remember, I baited it from the tree. Um, yeah, that's the plan. On the other side now, you can see me float just through the tree there, you probably won't be able to see it, but I'm just going to get on this tree and bait it up. I'm going to bait it this side of the float before I actually got caught in the wind a little bit. So, yeah, that's the pond. That's the pond of attack. Little hinge. Just gonna bang it over. Oh, rear. Now I've had to put on about nearly three quarters of a rat now because of this crosswind. Just keep whacking it over, obviously without the rig on, until I get pretty much bang on the bush. But yeah, just this slight crosswind and bang three quarters of a rat. So you know, just some of the people have to watch out for in their own fishing. If they're doing the leading up and the baiting up or whatever, in flat calm, and then wind comes on, got to allow for that, that crosswind. Anyway, let's get the rod out. Rods is out now for the night, all done and dusted. I uh, decided to pull that rod off that margin. There was a lot of ziggy activity here, but then it went flat. I see some fizzing off to the right here. I'll show you where. Only short, seven, seven and a half wraps, just over. Just here, just on the right hand side of that tall tree. Short, see a load of fizzing. I've seen a couple of shows there as well. Obviously when the wind was blowing, I couldn't see the fizzing, but yeah, when it flattened off, I could see the fizzing. And uh, yeah, I left there a little while. And I just had a little lead up there. I found a mega little spot, only small. So just put one, one little hinge in there with a white on, because it's a bit silty uh, and a little bit gravelly. It's definitely a hole in the weed. Nice sort of two, um, about two foot weed around it and at the back of it. So it's a real nice area in which we put two spawns right on top of it as well. Both spawns went bang, bang. So yeah, that one's there. And then yeah, I've put a zig out on this left hand side. Just out into the middle where I'll see a lot of fish this morning. Oh, that was a liner on the old zig. You and me. <laughs> Have some of that. Yeah, so we've got the zig out here. Which is sort of, uh, where is it? Yeah, over here, out there. And then, yeah, this one's nice and slack down the side of this. All systems go. Everyone, prepare yourself to be shocked. I'm actually cooking tonight. Bit of steak and potatoes. <whistles> oh, ho, ho. Very quiet morning so far. Seen plenty of fish about. I'd say plenty. I've been seen a good ten, twelve fish all over the place. I've seen one on that right hand rod that I've got on the bottom now. I saw a few fish fizzing up yesterday, so yeah, it's almost sat on my hands a little bit today. Yeah, weather's all over the place, got rain, wind, sun, then back raining again. It's real random. Definitely hatches going off. And uh, yeah, I broke my zig in on the left hander and I actually spooked a couple of fish on the surface quite close in, about 30 yards. So I put a taller zig on. It's about 11 and a half foot out here, so I put 10 foot out because some fish were definitely on the surface. And I also saw another vortex about the same distance. Uh, it tells me that they're in them top couple of feet. So yeah, I've put a, put a tall zig out just, just for a few hours. Still early-ish, you know what time we are now. Not even midday yet, I imagine, so. 
Yeah, just sort of sat here watching and learning, really. Um, I would have liked to have my me, me long rod out on the bush over there, but there's a lad opposite, so obviously I can't fish right over. I do keep seeing the coot come and try and have a little bit of bait off it. He dives down, comes back up and shoots off. Um, doesn't look happy, very startled. Um, yeah, he doesn't definitely tell me this fish getting under that tree and on that bait. But I'm happy for him to get free food. It's all right, and there's plenty going on out in the pond and just short in front of me to, to not have to put a line right over the right over there, if I'm honest. So, rods out. One to the right, short, same spot as before. I put one out. Found a nice little clay clay area. Just out. And give them a bit more bait. Mental. Same bait again. All Manila sharp temper maples. And um, pardon me. Yeah, that's it. Both on the deck for tonight. Seen plenty of fish here to sort of say, sort of warrant staying here. Um, yeah, as I said, I can't help but think this is a bit more of a passing zone. I haven't really seen anything really hold, if you know what I mean. So I'll give it tonight. Looks good again. Conditions are still good. One of the sort of 18, probably the, one of the best fish in the lake. Fish called Darren's Linear, come out. A few, uh, it's where I was last week actually, swim called Jack's Boards. Um, yeah, 48 pound, five ounces, incredible. You know, like a zip linear, biggest weight it's ever done. Yeah, so that just makes you think what weights are the other ones at? We'll see, hopefully. But yeah, we're, um, we'll keep my eyes and ears open tonight. Another night while I'm getting set, gonna set the alarm for about two in the morning and have a good listen about and see what's happening. Yeah, day bite that was as well, so that's good to hear. I see a fish like that on the bank. I see a fish on the bank. <laughs> oh, you and then I lit that. Mine's just sailing. Yeah. Rods are rocking. I'm just gonna sit on them. <clears throat> it might be raining, but I is happy. <laughs> Lamb jow frazy, mushroom rice and chips. Some people have been calling me a psychopath because they have chips with a curry. But I want obviously garlic naan and some poppadoms. Beautiful. Kind of don't want to bite for a minute. Thing. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Don't get too excited, it was only a tench. Four o'clock in the morning, Joe. <laughs> Absolutely melted. Always good though. Seen one fish this morning, that's it. They were definitely here last night. But it seems like it's definitely telling me that it is a passing zone. It definitely passed through. I feel like it came from right to left and went that way. Ended up staying up till probably about half twelve, one o'clock. But you know, it's lessons learned. As long as you're learning, it's not time wasted. I've moved, well, packed up. I don't know exactly where I'm going yet. I'm seeing fish where I heard them last night, so I think I heard them throughout here and down this way as well. Yeah, I've seen a couple in the last hour. So I'm just keeping my eye on it. But I'm gonna go and walk and bake my spots. Say so walk. These trainers need some uh, attention, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and bait my spots in the edge, and I'm gonna go back to the motor. And uh, where am I? Where am I? Here I am. Yeah, gonna go back to the motor and get some more bait. <laughs> and then uh, do a good lap as well. I'm gonna lap on my way to the van though. So I can uh, 
have a look, see what's what, have some baiting, I'll have a look for other fish, then make a decision. But this is definitely looking like a likely zone, just because they're here last night and they're still here this morning. I said they can move, drop of an hour. I will be keeping my eyes peeled. Pretty boring week this week, really. Seen plenty in that, but just not been, not been at it. Not much to report, but the sun's out, so it could change. I could find some fish. Definitely seen John's one here, which is that one there. Probably around mid 40 at the minute. And the son of Triple Row is there's another good one here that I don't know which one he is. This one. Where are you? Uh, can't actually see him now. The sun is definitely further out there. Well, the fish. Look at him. He's basically the clay fish. Looks like John's again. Spiky dorsal at the back. He's a lot bigger than anything else, isn't he? Alright, I need to fish for him. There is like the biggest wave of fish I've probably ever seen coming through here. <laughs> is that a joke? a lot of fish. Wow. Oh wow. What's the fish's behaviour around this coop then? They're not going to like him. Need to have a go for these fish. <laughs> I think state of pie really would be... State of pie? I think the pie would be a couple of static zigs but... They don't half hook up for a mixer. <laughs> Can give it a go. I'll get the kit. I've now been to the van, got some bait, got my photo kit, got my mixers, some cans of beer, and uh, I've put them in that swim. So I've walked back to there, I've walked all the way around, back down the other end of the lake to where my gear is. And this is what I hate about climbing trees. <laughs> You can see the fish. And I just got up this tree, right down the other end, and I found a fish called the twin. That's right, it's dog walker. I'd say that quiet then, just in case it was an angler. And a fish called the twin. It's another 40 pound, a real old relic of the lake. He's on his own. He doesn't really look up too much. Might be sulking, possibly. He's just going up and down this margin. Been watching him for about 10 minutes now. He's gone up the other way now. If he comes back, I'll get some footage of him. But yeah, he's a good, I think he's a 40 pounder. And um, I'll be a bit bigger. 
yeah, it'll be fish. It's real noticeable because it's quite pale. Quite pale in the water. I've seen this one a couple of times now. Oh, sweat on. I'm just gonna uh, try them on a few mixers again. All we've done here is put the powder over the top. These are the quill filters. Put the powder over the top. And then I'm gonna put this salmon oil over the top of that. Just to uh, just get that sweat going. Get the powder, the powder will fall downwards through the, through the layers. There we go. One more powder. Yeah. And the powder will fall through the layers. Get them hopefully enticed to uh, come up. We shall see. That is what you call an epic fail. See? Spooking them. Oh, I hate birds. Oh, the ones with wings anyway. That's what's going out. Two naughty noodles. Another dumbbell wafters. Mud clips. Four weeders all stretched out. They're all wrapped up, ready to go. Found two absolute mega spots round here to the right. One that I already found that I applied bait to last time. Absolutely, it's definitely bigger and it's quite up to anything. And another one a bit further out, slightly left. All that area that they were today, all them fish were played up. It is mad how just finding a spot can give you so much confidence. I love it. Like, they're just going down, crack. You know, smooth, bit of tap. It's definitely, definitely little clay holes. Uh, say, well, you know, sort of six foot squared, I'd say. Um, good six foot pullback. That allows me to get my, my putties all pinned down in there on my floor. Absolutely mega. Just gonna apply a little bit of bait over the top of each. Probably put half of this, um, what's in this bucket, over the top. Gonna wet it up a bit so it sinks nice. Yeah, it's just hemp maples and chopped manila, two kilo of chopped manila. I put yeah about seven eight bombs over each rod. That do me. Looking absolutely prime. No joy on the old zigs and that. You know it, it's half a chance, but you know I, I, I reacted fish. Um, the fish would have spooked off eventually once I just done all that wedding and that. You know, so if they'd just come in and done that straight away, the fish would have gone. So I had a little go fishing for them. They definitely came back. Um, but yeah, they definitely seem to be drifting out into the pond a little bit. But I might be fishing two towards this corner. I think it's game on tonight. John's winning it. It's definitely in the area. Woo! -hoo. I couldn't be any more confident if it slapped me straight in the face. It's all down to them now. Them rods went down with a crack. That bait could not have gone any better. Probably put six. Six, seven spawns, big spawns over each. <clears throat> Sick. Really, really happy with that. Couldn't do anything different. The only thing, see the thing is, with it being last night, the only thing I would have done different, if I could, would be to not disturb the fish and let them drift out of here naturally, and then get some rigs into position. However, I haven't got forever. I'm off tomorrow. I, um, and who knows, the fish might have just stayed there, you know, so maybe that little bit of pressure with the mixers and that, um, and the gulls coming over the top of them, that definitely got rid of a few, you know, so that's almost quite natural, you know, birdie, I'd rather them get spooked by birds than but spooked by leads casting at them. That's why I tried the mixer approach at first, because you can always cast past them and draw the float back and all that sort of stuff, you know, it's a bit more of a natural way of fishing as opposed to bang, bang with the leads. Yeah, just order the dominoes, standard. One of the lads, one of the new lads has had his first fish today. On a small one, I think it was 19, 20, say small, it's a good fish, but it's didn't end fish. They're hard, hard to catch. Um, and yeah, he's had his first one, so I said I'd get him a pizza. Happy days, he's going to collect that. I think that's a good deal. Can't wait. But yeah, plenty again learned. Today, so some of them real killed ones. Um, yeah, that John's, possibly Darren's uh, son again, son of Triple Row. Looking back at the foot, he's possibly got some of the grey one. Ah, I ate that fish. It's the one that lost earlier on in the year. 
that we were on in the uh, like two weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, some, uh, yeah, I'm sure once I get it on the big screen, I'll see which ones they definitely are. Which is always good. Yeah, some big fish getting in this corner, but a lot of small fish, so. <sighs> Hopefully, all the small ones just go down over and just John's when he comes back and has a little munch on my spot. Easy as that. 47, 48 pounds, I'll take that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think of worse places to be. Hey. Have <laughs> a quiet night, yeah. Seen anything this morning so far? Nothing to sort of shout about. Been quiet, but this wind's just swung. So I'm gonna give it a couple of hours, slow pack down. Then I'm gonna head over to Winnie. It's an open day over there. I've got a nip over there, see a couple of lads, and maybe do a bit. You know, monster particles are there. I think an angles are there on the. I think it's fat fish tackle stand. And um, yeah, I might do the night on Lynch. So. Hopefully, might be able to go and find him on here or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, nothing. I'm in a bit of a predicament. Up the tree. I put some bait on a spot down here yesterday, and there's a couple of fish trashing it. They're only small ones. I'm up the tree. Got right up there a second ago. This is where them fish are. I can see one of them. Still, I don't think you'll be able to see it. But yeah, there's a spot right there. It's glowing and there's a fish on it as we speak. All fish are born that. But yeah, it's been up the tree and one's just boshed out on my spot. I can see the spot glowing that I'm fishing. The one's bounced out on it, so I can't ignore that. I've got to sit it out. This is a guaranteed bite. Had there been some chunks on it, I would fish it. But I've got a stick on them rods, they are fishing, they've got bait over them, and there's fish on them. Well, there's a fish, that's enough. Let's see, I've got to sit it out for a couple more hours and then maybe have a little go with this. We'll see, don't like to pre plan. Still quite bad. <clears throat> so I'm just eating a bacon body. We've got joggers. I'm like a keep fat. Mmm. Sack them. Show that. <clears throat> yeah. Good one, guys. That's a good effort, that. Keep it up. Knees up. <laughs> oh. Working your jaw muscles today, I am. Back up the tree again, and there is zero fish here. Mental, mental. There was what, 70, 80 fish at least in this little corner yesterday. Now nothing. Conditions have totally changed. The sun's come out, the wind's blowing up here. Some people might think, ooh, wind. It just goes to show. But the wind isn't everything. It means there's a big group of fish somewhere. But they ain't here. Home time. I say home time, packing up time. Fast, fast gas now. Rods are on the deck. I've got to go out and get that little terror. Baiting my wife, honestly. Most frustrating thing in fishing. End of the session, you pack everything away. You gotta put your waders on and go out and get that stupid pole. Sorry about the shaking, guys. The battery's low. And the anti shake isn't working. I'm on Stone Acres. Oof. Hmm. 
Found a few. Wait, quick update because I'm in a rush now. I found a good sort of a lot of fish, and Kev's one here is definitely one of them. And they are sheeting up right here now. Look at this. You see this? Loads of sheeting going on. There's some. There's been loads of it. So it's literally just going off. There's two patches. There's another patch to the right here. So I'm just going to get two chuddies. Yes, look at that. Two chuddies, real white weds. Fuck him in there. There's fish in and out, in and out all the time. We've got the chads ready to go. Wee, look at me. Got the chads ready to go. So I'm going to flick them out. Easy as that. Try to. Scrap that. Leaving the fish to it in that corner, set up just off them. I feel like that's where they're gonna go at night. Just push it to that open water and then prime a couple of zones in for in the edge tomorrow. Eee! Look at that. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That's stunning. Right, let me just show you. Down to the right is where the fish were. Down in this corner down here. All down in this corner down here. And I know from past experience that they like to come and settle. Sometimes they pass over it. They might stay down there, but generally I've known them to settle out in this zone out here. Out there. So we'll see. Just got to wonder I'm swinging out there for you. They'll boat out. Show us the, uh, the old rig, but oh. No noodle, standard. Oh yeah. Five ounce flat, flat per word. And yeah, there's a nice area out there. Big, uh, it's been silt weed. And then it's all been ripped up to the silt and then there's little bits of gravel coming up. You'll see my two box here, there. There they are. Quite night last night. <laughs> um, only because I had a really good sleep. Which was about half oh, eleven, quarter to twelve, left hand rod went to tench. Um I mean there's a good possibility of it, but it's what it is. And it but it took the other rod out as well. <sighs> as quick as you crank them in. <laughs> Still kiting. And yeah, it took the other rod out, so I had no rods in last night. <laughs> Did hear a couple of fish down to my right where where they were um, and I've just seen one out here which I just whipped the chad onto uh, only about 40 50 yards just out that way <sighs> it's good fish but I, I thought to myself last night you know I could have potentially sort of packed up and moved and um, got into that little corner had a little um, couple of chuddies in the edge, but I thought I'd wait, you know. I did no harm by just having a camp. It's camped. I don't know. I don't mind admitting it. Yeah, I didn't see where they are in the morning. I've got roving, you know, chucking a couple of singles at them. And then, um, yeah, I imagine they're going to get into this edge down the right hand side today. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have a little go from down there. <gasps> I've got a little bit of filming to do with South Coast Rods. They're like a, 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 a free spirit stockist who sell uh, free spirit rods, but they sort of pimp them up and all that. Um, yeah, that's quite cheap as well, so check them out. Hmm. Come on, I can't. Right. Film is done. Managed to uh, get a rod in position. 
whilst doing it. This is always a bonus. Okay, I've got a rod in this corner where I saw him yesterday. Found a little hole in the weed there, I could see it from the tree. And I, uh, yeah, I waded it out, dropped it in position. A few little baits around it. And, uh, yeah, the fish have just started turning up just a bit out of the bay. I'm hoping they're gonna get right in here. Um, the wind keeps swinging south, north, south, north. At the minute, it's just pushing in here. Look at this, real nice. All I've done is just waded it out. This road here, just down here. It's literally about here, about three or four red limbs out. Lowered it in. I'll uh, get out the tree and show it in a minute. But yeah, this is where we are. This is nice. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of fish here. I can't really see them. In this bay, can we get up the tree? Bear with me. You see him. My bait is literally the bait is here. Yes. And we're not far away. It's all about seeing how these fish react to this bait now. I'm just at the back there. Here he is. She's gonna cock it and warn it. Well, she sees it. Mm-hmm. He definitely saw that. That's a bite. Except we've already had that fish. Right, I've got that rod in now. Let's come. Have a walk. Found a load of fish. I'm just browsing on shelf here. It's a big group of them. Somewhere disappeared now. Yeah, there's a big group of fish in this corner. So, just having a good look. I'm trying to find Kev's. Yeah, here's the world turning up. Yeah, I'm trying to. Sorry, this is out of the tree. Yeah, I'm trying to find Kev's. The one I'm after. I've seen a couple of bite opportunities now, but I mean, some people might be thinking, You're mad, man, let's have a go. But the fact is, I've already caught the fish that I've seen feeding. I don't want to put big old fish like that under stress, so I'm just going to carry on looking until I try and try and find the one I'm after. Yeah, I might end up blanking, but I can sleep easy knowing that I was trying to. Trying to leave them ones alone, try and catch the ones that I'm after. It's a good group of fish here now. Where is Kev's? Bit of a last gas now. A few fish in this corner. Got a bit of tiger down there, I've got my tiger with me. Climbed up the tree with the bag in my mouth, as you do. On the camera. Yeah, put some tiger down here. I can get them to drop, I'll stay. If I can't, and they go over it, I'm off. Make a break. <laughs>